I mean, there, there, are, there are many more mutuals than you would think in this world, and uh, there's many people that, that worked with the group Mutual Waste Company. They're in Holland, uh, Germany, uh, London, uh, um, Australia. At the moment, we're, we're living in Santa Angelo as a group of uh, 15 people. But it's, it's always been for, for six years, it's been 15 people with the aim of working with waste with wherever we can work with waste. It means if it is no good, we take it down a scrapyard and we get money and we feed ourselves. Or you can make it a sculpture, hire it out or sell it and then feed yourselves. It's become really hard in England uh, over the last 10 years to live a, a way of life that's outside of the normal way of life, which is one of the reasons I left England in the first place. Um, the people that are still there trying to live an alternative life are having a really hard time. And there's no room for an alternative way. It seems that all the pressure is for people to live in one sort of way, and if you don't live that way, then you're going to be given trouble. People are increasingly getting fed up with the lifestyle, the consumer lifestyle, and I think that the movement of people who want to live like we do is growing all over the world. And it's not a lifestyle that you have to have no responsibilities to, to be able to live like this. That, that's not true. I mean, I have two children, and um, I find that with this way of life, they receive a better education, a much more superior education to anything that the state can offer. The whole world is being wasted, and if you just work with the waste, and you build, you build yourself a life from all the waste, people maybe think that if we can survive from what everyone else is throwing away, then we're throwing away too much. We're wasting too many materials. Is why, why does everything have to be new? Is why buy new things? It's, and there's very few resources left on this planet to build new things. So it's, it's crazy building new things from new material. We use old. There's still much life left in old stuff. So dove abitano, no? E soprattutto c'è il cavallo, noi in passeggiata passiamo proprio nel loro campo e dove hanno tutta l'attrezzatura e a volte ci fermiamo anche a vedere, notare tutte queste, queste strutture che fanno loro, che sono cose proprio bellissime. Uno se non si crede non le vede, non, se, non, se non vede non, non si crede insomma, capito? Abbiamo un grezzo di pecore, il nomade praticamente. La mia vita si abbinava molto alla sua e quello che riconosco lì è presto molto. 
Io andavo, andavo come loro in giro per il mondo e vorrei ritornare ancora. Era più divertente? Più bello, più sano, cose belle. No, a chi qui sì, sì, è bello qui, qui combattere con le mie donnine qui, però... Da vederli così, dopo invece avendo contatto, tutti noi ne abbiamo contatto spesso, insomma vengono, non dico tutti i giorni, ma quasi. E allora per sì. me sono dei bravi ragazzi. Insomma. Sì, sì, la sì, visto, è stato visto. molto bello, sì. Ah, Una cosa nuova. Quest'anno lo rifate di nuovo, sì. Mi ha fatto molto piacere. The situation was more difficult in that most of the other places we went to have been cities and cities have a different atmosphere. Here in uh, Santa Cangelo it's more in the country and the people are different, they're more tranquilo, um, more tolerant and they like us. England is an island and it's very difficult to abandon that island mentality. Yeah. Whereas, I mean, yes, I think of myself now as European, but when we left, I didn't really, because I'd never lived in Europe. But now, I feel more European than, than British. I mean, it does seem different. The British people think of themselves as a separate entity. <laughs> who was in fact the man who built this. This was the last piece he built with us in Paris, in fact it was, before he went off to Australia to further the cause in Australia. Um, those two, we had one brilliant mechanic and one brilliant artist. The Mutual Preacher is a, a very good artist who would work with scrap art and the two joined their heads together and you had auto sculpture. I'm German, but I've lived in England for a few years and that's where I met Mutoid Waste. I used to do the same thing, but on Formula One cars, the BMW. This is art, and I much prefer working on for art's sake than for advertisement's sake. We have this piece on the uh, Museum of Modern Art in New York. Not if it will drive down the road. We don't want to put it in a box if you can drive it down the road. like this and it's gone like that. And the steering's all still in place and uh, this is where the engine used to be. And the en I turned the engine around and it fitted back perfectly. It was the right way up and I was going to run it down to there and the whole thing was going to drive. Nobody here takes drugs. Uh, heroin, for instance, is a very negative thing, you know, and, and we need to remain positive all the time. Our lifestyle is hard enough without something like heroin coming in. If anybody in the group um, brought heroin into the group, they would be out. like living in an extended family. I mean, you can live in a flat in London and become really isolated. You can be very much on your own and the pressures are much greater than it is to live in a group like this because we all support each other. We are a family. So my first house was a van and then I just traveled around in that from then on. And uh, I was traveling a lot around Europe. I went back to England and then I met up with all this lot. I didn't have a strict life. I lived a quite normal life. I had a flat, I had a job. You know, the, the sort of things people normally do in yeah. normal society. And I didn't like it. Celia de Fricatoni. She was a bit worried that I'd grow up to be a politician, you know. <laughs> 
that, you know what I mean, I'd rebel to her lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so she, yeah, she's quite pleased the way I've turned out. <laughs> I mean, we met before we were in the mutoids. Jay was living in another warehouse in London in a truck. But he wasn't with the mutoids. And uh, we both found out that what we wanted to do was work with the mutoids. And so we're both doing exactly what we want. And, uh, and so that makes it a lot easier. Um, he can teach me a lot. Uh, we can work on things together. And uh, we don't have to stay here, you know. If, if there's a problem, we can always go away for a few days. And yeah, I mean, we're happy. 